Tesla has just applied for a patent for the Cybertruck. And honestly, it might make it the ugliest vehicle in history. It is so weird, but it's so good. Yeah, I know. I just said it's weird and it's good. Anyhow, hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Tesla has applied for what looks like a ridiculous patent that actually makes a lot of sense. In fact, it's so bizarre, but it's so logical. This new patent will make towing much more efficient. And this would mean the Cybertruck would be the most efficient towing vehicle probably ever. Sounds weird, but um, anyway, much of the design of the Cybertruck is because of the, well, the Tesla's decision to use stainless steel panels. But they've managed to improve the drag coefficient, particularly for towing. And the truth is the Cybertruck is much better drag coefficient than other pickup trucks because it doesn't look like a brick at the front. The American automaker wrote in the abstract of a patent application, an inflatable aerodynamic deflector to reduce drag and enhance efficiency. Constructed from drop stitch material, it forms one or more air chambers between parallel skins. The component includes a pressure regulation mechanism and diverse attachment interfaces such as rail systems, magnetic fasteners, and quick disconnect clips distributed along the vehicle for secure mounting. This component acts as an aerodynamic deflector, optimizing airflow around conveyances, especially combination vehicles like tow vehicles and trailers. So you can see Tesla's working on this weird looking device, which will act as basically a fairing and give it much better aerodynamic efficiency. The difference will be absolutely enormous. But you would think, right, that people probably wouldn't want their vehicles to look this ridiculous. People will look at this car probably going past and just think, what the hell is that? That is bizarre. But I think the reality is, if you can improve your towing efficiency by around 30%, which I think it what the, is what this would do, you're basically preventing the thing behind you from being a complete aerodynamic brick, then it's probably worth it. So this is a good idea. As weird as it is, it's actually a good idea. Other EVs should probably have similar features, I think anyway. I mean, might not be easy to fit them. I mean, trying to, imagine trying to fit something like, like this to a Tesla Model Y, but it would actually make a lot of sense if you were able to make it work. Let me know what your thoughts are. Would you drive around with one of these on your vehicle? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you wanna get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount. Tesla has finally launched the new cheaper version of the Cybertruck. It's rear-wheel drive. It's, well, not the price I was expecting, but still, it's not too bad. Now, in addition to this, Tesla has also announced that they will be selling the Cybertruck outside of North America in countries overseas somewhere. We don't know where those countries are, but we do know that the Cybertruck has been available on Tesla's website in Australia now for quite a long time. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Apparently, Cybertruck demand has been stalling this year in the United States. It looks like there is a fair bit of inventory. I'm a big fan of the Cybertruck. At this point in time, it looks like, well, let's be real. Tesla did have well over a million reservations, and it seems to me as though a lot of people have decided not to go through with their orders for a variety of reasons, I'm guessing. Tesla had always planned on having a cheaper real drive version. The new one is 70,000 US dollars, 
but some features have been removed. So I'm not sure it's actually better value than the all wheel drive version, which costs 80,000 US dollars. Both of these vehicles do qualify for EV incentives in the United States, meaning actually not bad value when you think about it. I mean, the real drive version comes down to 62,500 US dollars. Here's the thing though. This new Cybertruck has more range than any Cybertruck because they've removed that front motor. I mean, of course that makes the Cybertruck lighter and more efficient. Previously, Tesla said the rear wheel drive Cybertruck would have 250 miles of range. So we're thinking 250 miles of range, not that good, but okay. But it doesn't, it's actually got 350 miles of range. And I think it would have more range than that, but Tesla is actually, by the sounds of it, done a thing where they still have the same battery pack. It's still the same 123 kilowatt hour NMC battery pack using 4860 cylindrical cells that Tesla makes in-house, but I believe they kind of neutered it so you can't use the entire pack. Otherwise, the range would be probably around 400 miles. Right now, you can order that model or the rear-wheel drive model of the Cybertruck in the United States and Mexico. It's called Long Range Rear-Wheel Drive, and it starts at $70,000, like I said before, incentives. That is more expensive than what it was meant to be. It was going to be $61,000, so the price has gone up by $9,000. I still think it's pretty decent money, and it is $10,000 less expensive than the dual motor version. Now, there is a way to increase the range by 12 miles. You can buy a soft cover for the tray. Unfortunately, um, you don't get the powered cover. I personally would probably rule it out for that reason. In my opinion, you've got to have that powered cover. So Tesla was saying, okay, this, six, this cheaper version for $70,000, we're going to remove that electric roller shutter for the tray, and you can buy a soft tonneau cover for $750. I, I don't think that makes sense. I, I actually think it, it could be... Well, sales might not be as good as Tesla are hoping because of that reason. Performance, therefore, is it's slower than the other Cybertrucks, of course, because it's got one motor, but it's still more, it's still faster than a Ford Ranger Raptor. It'll do zero to one hundred or zero to sixty-two miles an hour in six point six seconds. So it's still pretty fast. Three hundred and fifty miles of range, rear-wheel drive. Ground clearance is two hundred and forty-three millimeters, and top speed is one hundred and eighty kilometers an hour you can tow 7,500 pounds. So all those feet, to be honest, all those figures in my opinion are really good. I'm just a bit disappointed about the, top, the roller shutter for the tray being removed. One thing that is positive about this vehicle is it is 500 pounds lighter, partly because of that roller cover being removed, partly because the front motor has been removed, and also the suspension is a little bit lower. So the truck sits a little bit lower to the ground. 